by WHS. So we're here to talk about mental health this month and um, just here to remind you that your mental health is a priority. We all have mental health um, challenges in some time of our life, but they don't define who we are. It's something that we experience. Like when you walk in the rain, you might feel the rain, but you're not the rain. You're just getting wet from the rain. So at the end of the day, we all need to remember, believe in yourself and that you are the greatest project that you will ever work on and that you are enough. So remember that and you are warrior strong. When I got an education 28 years ago, one of the main reasons I did it was I wanted to be a positive influence in the lives of the students I was working with. Um, over those 28 years, I've seen uh, many kids struggle uh, for various reasons and I just wanted to be an adult that uh, those kids could reach out to, uh, be comfortable talking to, um, be a support for them. Uh, we all go through difficult times and when there's people you can talk to that can make those difficult times a little bit easier. Um, so I just continue to encourage people to find people you can talk to when times get tough and I hope to continue to be that person someone can talk to moving forward. The struggle that I've had is I have a very close friend who ended up with cancer and I almost didn't know how I was going to be able to deal with it and I put everything to the side and I focused on the positive and I never thought once that I was going to lose her. So um, we focused on the positive. I got her a book and it became meditation and positive thoughts and only positive thoughts. And I am so thankful to say that she's healthy and um, we work through it together day by day. It's not always easy, but you can do it. I had a mental health challenge when I was later in high school um, and also into my early college years. Um, after struggling for over a year, I finally reached out for help and I met with a therapist who truly helped me recognize um, where my struggles were and how I could better myself and better my feelings and better regulate them. It truly helped me become who I am today and it truly is the reason why I'm a high school counselor and I'm here to help other students get through these struggles that I know they can be dealing with or they have dealt with. and. We're here for you. Hi Warriors, so the struggle that I dealt with is I used to be a really great wrestler in high school and I had an opportunity to wrestle in college so I went from being one of the best wrestlers in the high school wrestling room to the wrestler that really struggled in the college wrestling room. And it really took a lot to persevere and get a lot better in college but I just kept working hard um, you know, and working out and continuing to learn and do the best that I can every single day but it was definitely a struggle. Um, when I went to college after I graduated high school I was assigned a roommate. And I remember, you know, a few weeks into school thinking like, wow, she really likes to take naps. I mean, who doesn't, right? I love naps. Um, but in hindsight, she was struggling with depression. She experienced some things um, before she came to college that she was struggling with. And so I use this story just to remind you guys that you notice, right? You notice when something's off, you can tell um, when someone is struggling. And so take note and give them the support that they need. I was able to be there for my roommate and help her work through that. I think someone just to listen, just to reach out and to notice makes a big difference. I had to work a lot of jobs in college to get by to pay the bills and uh, it was really tough so I was taking 18 credit hours, worked three jobs and it got really overwhelming and uh, anxiety and depression set in and I thought I wouldn't be able to do it, I wouldn't be able to finish um, and so I decided even though I didn't want to because of the, the stigma attached with anxiety and depression I called uh, my doctor and worked out a plan to make myself feel better and handle all of that stress in a more positive way rather than a destructive way. And I think that really gave me some of the tools I needed through therapy to uh, balance my work, school, and home life to make it less overwhelming. And it's still a struggle, but I have the tools now to, to address the problems that cause me the most stress. And it's been, you know, life really. It's kind of what life is, is a struggle. And you just gotta work through it and good things happen when you do. Uh, one thing I struggle with is being a female in today's society. Um, being a woman, the world puts so much on our shoulders. Um, the pressure of being perfect whether that's physical, body type, whether that's um, our appearance and faces and makeup, uh, whether it's emotionally and controlling our emotions um, in relationships and um, the roles that we 
are in every day and the different hats that we wear, uh, then we take all that pressure from society and we put it on ourselves and um, we put it on, sometimes unconsciously, we put it on others. But as a woman, we need to really be intentional in stepping back and um, thinking about the things we can do to support each other, to be positive, to lift each other up whenever possible, and listening, and this office is a place for that. Um, coming to this building was really exciting um, to be a female administrator in the buildings to offer that opportunity to um, the women of Woodhaven and uh, just helping elevate our voices and having everyone feel supported. One of the things that I've found to be challenging with mental health is that I have not gone through mental health issues myself. My dad is a manic depressant person and so knowing that sometimes manic depression isn't always about the person that is going through it, it is also about the people around them. So it's important for people that maybe aren't dealing with manic depression or any kind of mental illness themselves that it's important for them to get help. And so that's what I found is that it was important for me to get help from other people um, to understand what my dad was going through and how it affected our lives. Um, it definitely made my life a little bit better and it could make yours better if you ask for help and seek out assistance. We all go through some very tough times. I had a pretty tough time this past January when my father passed away. Uh, he was diabetic and struggling for quite some time and it was def definitely difficult to see him go through the things that he was going through. Uh, one thing that got me through it uh, was just the, the friends and also the people here at Woodhaven High School. Uh, the, I, one thing that really sticks out the most is uh, at the funeral home when the entire Woodhaven High School varsity ice hockey team and all the coaches came just to offer their respects to me and my family and my dad. Uh, that hit me pretty hard. <laughs> Seeing them all there and uh, their support and a lot of their parents were there too. And then just the emails, uh, received an email from a student who typically may not be the best student in classes, but yet he was the only student that really sent me a message, reaching out to me, just offering his condolences, his thoughts, his prayers. And that just really helped me get through the serious rough couple weeks and some rough times. So I appreciate it. Both my mom and my sister have struggled with um, depression. And growing up, you know, I always wondered what, what I could do, how could I help? Um, I think what I've learned along the way and, and part of the reason I went into counseling is being able to listen, being caring, empathetic, um, knowing that I won't always have the answers, but sometimes people just need you to be there and listen to them. Um, so, you know, we learn and we grow um, from each other and I think that's the best part about counseling is that, um, yes, we, we hope we can help, but we can all grow together.